Hello all, welcome to our channel TechnoSavior. So in today's video, I'm going to cover how to use RSA along with JWT in Node.js. To watch all my videos related to JWT and RSA basic, check out my playlist. Okay, so let's get started. So as we all know, RSA uses asymmetric algorithm. So it needs two keys. One is public, another is private. So the private key is used for signing and creating the JWT, whereas the public key is used for verifying the JWT. So in the first step, the client sends a login request. On successful validation of the credentials, the server creates a payload with the client details. And using the private key and the sign-in options, the server creates the JWT token. And this token is sent to the client. Let's see this part in code. Okay guys, so this is the code and we will quickly start debugging it so that I can explain you line by line what exactly this code does. Okay, so the debugging has started. The first import is required for reading the files, that is the public and private key. So I've saved the public and private key in a different file. And the next import that we have used is the JSON web token. So this is used for creating the JWT, verifying the JWT and also extracting the payload from the JWT. So let's quickly see this. So first it tries to read the private key and saves it into a variable then the public key and saves it into a variable so if you hover over it then you can find this is the rsa private key next is the rsa public key then next we'll create the payload so the payload is created only after the user is verified so if you recall the slide the next first step was once the client is successfully logged in then only the payload will be created so assuming the client has successfully provided its credentials so now we are in the process of creating the payload so we will create the payload by giving it a username user id and role this payload fields are decided by the application and it can differ from application to applications okay next we will just print the payload as you can see here the payload gets displayed so what we have in the payload i will increase its height a little bit more so that it's more visible okay so after creating the payload the next step is to create the sign-in options so now let's quickly create the sign-in options so here i'm giving a issuer as techno savior the subject is the email id and the audience is some channel id the expiration of this token will be 24 hours this uses algorithm rs256 this tells jwt token to use the public and private key process for verifying and creating the JWT token. So now the JWT token is created by sending the payload, the private key and the sign in options. So as I said previously, so this was the entire object that we have right now. So after the signing process is completed, the JWT token will get generated. So we'll quickly step over and you can see the token is created. So this token consists of three parts, the header, this is the payload and this is the signature. So if you don't know the what is the header, what is the payload and what is the signature, you can check my video in the top right corner, there I've explained JWT in full details. Okay, now going back to our image. The token is now saved in the client browser or the phone as local storage or cookies. So if the client wants some data from the server, it needs to send the request along with the token. Then the server on receiving this request verifies the JWT token using the public key before sending its response. Let's check the verification part using the public key in code. Okay, now we have received our JWT token from the client. Now it's time to verify whether this token was tampered with or it is the actual token or is it expired. So how do we verify it? So we have to create a object of verify options and we need our public key. So as you can see in this image, in order to verify the JWT token, we need the public key and the verify options. So if you see this verify option is the same one that we use to create our sign in options. So make sure these two objects are same or else the JWT verification process might fail. So we will quickly see it whether does it pass or does it fail so we have this verify options object created we have the public key and we have the token so now it does not throw any error so basically if the verification fails the verification 
will throw an error giving you the message like what was the cause of the failure. Since there was no error thrown, so the verification is successfully completed. So now the token is verified and we will be able to extract all the details. So this is the decoded object from the JWT token. After the JWT is decoded, we can extract the header, the payload and based on the payload, user ID or username, we can send the response that was requested by the user in the initial step. So here if you remember the user had requested for some data. So only after the verification was completed based on the user ID, we will send back the user its response. So this is all about how you can use JWT using RSA encryption and decryption techniques. So hopefully you like this video. If you want to know more about these topics, do let me know in the comment sections below. And if you want to get the code snippet, I'll be adding this into my GitHub. You can download the code from there. Thank you.